Kevin Weeks has just dropped an absolute bomb on Twitter involving a trade with the goaltender and the Boston Bruins. There's many teams involved in these deals. Kevin Weeks has only heard from this now, but there's going to be a lot of stuff to come over these next few hours into tomorrow morning and the NHL trade deadline. So I wanted to make a video here quickly uh, before we go you know, into tomorrow, before everybody's gone to bed, before anything else could happen, just to keep you guys updated. It's currently 3.30 for me in the morning, so just wanted to get something out and you know, have you guys updated with this update because this is a major trade that could possibly go down. So before we get into this, though, we noticed that 92% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. If you're looking for all your news around the Boston Bruins, you know the deal. Make sure hit the sub button join us along we're gonna have a very fun ride for the rest of this season but without any further ado we need to get into this report because it like i said it's an absolutely huge one and kevin weeks has just tweeted this moments ago involving a potential trade in the boston bruins the calgary flames the la kings and the new jersey devils he says as i'm working the phones i'm told the nhl bruins the nhl flames the la kings and the new jersey devils are all in goalie discussions including some potential three-way trade scenarios It'll be intriguing to see where this lands by deadline time. Now, like I said, it's very late during the night here, um, you know, in Newfoundland. That's where I'm from. So right now, I don't think anything will happen as of tonight. But, you know, just in case something happens super early in the morning, I wanted to get an update out uh, to let you guys know what is going on. But like I said, it's going to be Linus Allmark most likely. That's a guy who we've been discussing this deadline, uh, you know, and I think the time is to move on from... Uh, him and keep it on with Jeremy Swayman and got sign him to an extension. Linus Hallmark has two years left on his deal at five million, making him a very available goalie for many teams, including the ones that will be likely looking for a goalie. And he's currently, you know, having a, a bit of a down season. But last year, off that Vesna win, um, is a very high. Uh, accomplishment, obviously the best goalie accomplishment in the league, apart from the heart, which is very rare for a goalie. But this is going to be uh, a move that a playoff team is going to be looking for. You know, I think the likely candidates here, like Kevin Weeks said, are the LA Kings and the New Jersey Devils. My assumption would be that Jacob Markstrom will be uh, another option. Just say uh, Cam Tal or uh, excuse me, Linus Allmark goes to LA along with Cam Talbot to be that goaltending tandem. New Jersey may look to acquire. Jacob Markstrom. Now, the interesting thing here is Kevin Weeks also mentioned a potential three-way trade scenario. So, you know, that in my mind makes me think that could Jacob Markstrom be traded from the Calgary Flames elsewhere and then the Boston Bruins send Linus Allmark to Calgary? You know, it's going to be a, a very interesting thought process that what could be a three-way trade involving those three teams? But we're going to be starting off talking about, you know, I just want to discuss here what the potential, you know, return and also uh, the team that Linus Allmark likely Linus Allmark could go to. So we're going to start it off here with the LA Kings. Uh, you know, the number one projected that I thought at the beginning of this trade deadline, and one that was rumored uh, the Kings were looking into. So the LA Kings have $3.357 million in cap. Uh, you know, about a mi to about two million away from being able to get Linus Allmark. Uh, now, however, that would be no issue uh, due to the trade. Whatever would go down, um, likely going the other way. You know, one name I've mentioned in the previous video is Arthur Kaliev. I think he's an excellent player. You know, hasn't really found the the comfortable spot in the LA Kings. Uh, organization yet. He's been in the NHL a good while, but he's been up and down the past few seasons, and he's just not performing I think his top level could be, and I think the Bruins would give him that opportunity, playing on a you know, potential second line, third or fourth line easy, uh, making the NHL. Sticking him into it, I think that would give him a nice new opportunity in the NHL to see what he can prove and see what he can do over this time, but Excuse me. Uh, you know, I, I do think that there are also many other options on this LA Kings team. We've seen Matt Waugh was an option as well, a uh, left-handed defenseman. Whether it be, you know, Linus Hallmark for Arthur Kaliev, Matt Waugh, that was one that I believe it was Kevin Weeks, uh, you know, theorized was looking into uh, a couple days ago when, you know, one of our first videos that we reported on. And I think that that would be something the Bruins would definitely look into. You know, a depth winger, uh, a young one especially, on his RFA contract, and Matt Waugh, left-handed defenseman, a very solid defenseman in that case as well. Uh, and that would be an interesting one to see. You know, that would be 
my likely option of where I think this trade could go if it were, um, you know, a one-for-one goaltender situation where Markstrom goes somewhere else, you know, uh, Lena Solmark goes elsewhere, you know, that kind of situation. But we also have the New Jersey Devils who have also been in that scenario where they're looking for uh, a starting goaltender. You know, that's one thing that they're, they're very, uh, very much lacking on uh, the past few seasons. And you could especially see it in the playoffs last year where they had Akira Schmid. They had kind of every goalie rotating in and out of this lineup. So I think the New Jersey Devils, once again, is a very hungry team for a goalie. Someone that, um, you know, I, I would say is a goalie away from going on a deep playoff run. After winning the first round last year against the New York Rangers, I think that the goaltending would have increased their odds to go to the Stanley Cup final. Um if they had a better goaltender last year. So I think that's going to be another another one they're looking at. From what I've seen uh, from reports and rumors uh, well before the trade deadline, this is goes back a couple weeks now, it was Jacob Markstrom to the Devils and Linus Allmark to the Kings. Now, obviously, where Kevin Weeks is saying this is a potential three-way trade, this could be a very interesting scenario and something could uh, you know materialize that we're not expecting whatsoever, which is something that I'm kind of looking forward to if it does end up being in this kind of situation. You know, a little bit of a twist that we may see at this deadline, but tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Uh, I think the Bruins are going to be trying to get active. This one, it might be shifting their focus to being their main priority. You know, they've missed out on Noah Hannafin. They missed out on a potential three-way deal from what else Kevin Weeks said uh, with Gensel, Lindholm, and DeBrusque. So there's going to be a lot of things that the Bruins are going to have to think about tomorrow before deadline time. Um, so, you know, we're going to be keeping up to date with that. But this really, uh, this goalie one, like I said, I just wanted to get this out, this video out, let you guys know the update, let you know what's going on with Kevin Weeks, what he's been saying. Um, this picture, or this tweet was also accompanied by a picture of Kevin Weeks with 10 phones. So, you know, it just kind of shows how busy he's being. Uh, he's been with all these trades with these te these teams in specific and with the goalie market. You know, we haven't seen any goalies yet, whether it's been Jake Allen either. And there's a few more uh, UC Soros, those guys. It's really going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. You know, the Calgary Flames have said they're not going to move on from Jacob Markstrom. He had some comments to say about that, that it could have been handled better. That might have turned the, um, the Calgary Flames a wrong way. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on, and I, I got to get this out just to, you know, give you the updates, like I said, and, um, you know, get ready for what we're going to be seeing tomorrow. And just in case that uh, this happens overnight, I doubt it will, you know, uh, the TSN deadline show starts for me tomorrow at 9.30. Easiest thing to watch since I'm in Canada. So I'll be keeping update with that. You know, I'll be watching along, giving you guys updates um, in, in videos. Anything that happens with the Bruins, anything that will affect the Bruins, I'll have it here. So tomorrow we may see Jeremy Swayman become that number one and Linus Allmark being sent uh, elsewhere in a package, maybe to one of those two teams I mentioned, maybe elsewhere. We don't really know yet. Just speculation from Kevin Weeks, but it looks like something is going to materialize from this and one of our goalies are going to be traded. So I will be keeping you up to date, like I said, with all this. So make sure to hit that sub button. Like I said, you know, 92% of you guys are looking for this news and you're going to get it right here if you do hit that sub button. As soon as it happens, I'll be keeping you in the know with everything that's going on related to the Boston Bruins. So make sure to hit that sub button. Like the video if you did enjoy, you know, been grinding up these videos for this trade deadline with a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, I've been really enjoying it with you guys. The comments have been uh, fantastic, going back and forth, getting to know your opinions on what you guys think about the Bruins, what kind of moves they want to make, and what kind of moves you think they should make. So it's really interesting. Love reading them. Uh, yeah, so you know, I just kind of wanted to give a, a quick thank you for what the support has been over these past, these first few days, I guess you could say, with this channel. But you know, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hit the sub button. Like the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.